Hello everyone, this is TechBizMo and welcome back once again to another video. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at GNOME Partition Editor, editor otherwise known as Gparted. So if you guys do not know, Gparted, um, as I said a minute ago, a couple seconds ago actually, um, it is a GNOME Partition Editor. However, you can get it on any, des any other desktop environment, but I believe it was mainly made for the... Um, the uh, GNOME desktop environment, or, you know, I don't know, I don't know who created this, but I will leave links in the description to the websites, I don't know if it was Fedora that made it or something, it's, it's I don't know, it's the, uh, it's probably the, somebody in the GNOME, um, team, but anyways, let's go ahead and get started with, uh, taking a look at this application, um, so I'll go ahead and open that, uh, yes, it does require a password on uh, when you open it up. Okay, here we are in G parted. So um, as you can see, I've got two, no, actually four partitions. I didn't, I almost missed these two partition, these two really small partitions. Um, actually, really quick before I get started, um, if you guys remember that, um, no, we don't want to open that. <laughs> uh, if you guys remember that live stream that I was going to put on, um, that is canceled. Sorry, guys. I decided to just split those videos up into separate videos because I can't be bothered to do a live stream, um, you know, this time of day because, you know, a lot of people are not going to be able to watch and this is my only available time of day to be able to um, make a video. So, yeah, I'm I'm just going to make this video up and upload it um, or actually upload it in the morning and then publish it in the afternoon or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll upload this one in the morning and then you guys can just view on your own time. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will be taking a look at Linux Mint 19 instead when that is officially released. I'm no longer going to take a, take a look at the beta version. I'm going to take a look at Linux Mint 19 when that is officially released. And about the GIMP. Um, 2.10, I will be making a video on that. You can see I do have, I believe, uh, yep, I have GIMP 2.10 installed right here, so we'll just go ahead and close that out. Um, yeah, there's a little preview of GIMP 2.10 if you guys haven't seen what it looks like yet, and I'm not sure where my terminal is. <laughs> it's got a weird icon, but I don't know, we'll forget about, we'll forget about that. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this video. So anyways, you can see that I've already got some partitions. Um, you've kind of got some uh, resize and move uh, settings. This one, this partition, for some reason, I'm not able to um, to resize and make into a new partition. I mean, there's some way to do it. Um, you know, I could go ahead and also name my partition, you know. <laughs> I can name that if I want. Um, for this one, this is my unallocated partition. Yeah, I've kind of got things kind of a little bit jumbled up uh, currently on my um, computer. Uh, as you can see, the partitions are a little bit messed up. You know, I've got two just random partitions that I don't need. I mean, no, one partition I don't need, uh, which is this big 100, whoops, 122.71 gigabytes on unallocated um, part of my partition. But anyways, um, how do you resize a partition? How do you resize a brand new partition? So say you just split a partition in Windows or something, or you're splitting a partition for Windows and you're trying to uh, split it. So let me first of all just go ahead and name this Windows, no, Windows, no my gosh, Windows 10. We'll just go ahead and name it that and then click Add. Now, how do you resize? This is basically how you resize. You just you just go ahead and take your mouse cursor and just resize it. That's that's how easy it is. You just double click on it, or no, don't double click on it. Um, right click on it, then do resize and move. That's basically how you do it. Um, now the reason, the main reason why I I I decide to take a look at um at uh, G parted, well, other no, otherwise known as uh, of course GNOME partition editor. The main reason is because I have been using partition editors a lot recently. Um, as many of you may know, um, I am about to move back over to Hackintosh. Not on not on this computer. Um, I w I'm going to try the Hackintosh install on my um, HP Omni um, 220 since I actually put my own hard drive in there now and it's got 16 gigs of RAM. Um, yeah, I've been using partition editors a lot lately and I just thought I'd take a look at this one since this is one of my favorites. I've been using this one a lot um, recently with, you know, all my partition editing. Anyways, um, yeah, so now uh, 
that's basically it. You, it. I mean, there's there's not great, there's not a lot of options you can get on here, but um, it's still very useful. I do like this this application. You know, I can go ahead and application. I can go ahead and apply my my changes. So we'll go ahead and close that. Okay. So um, yeah, you can see uh, up up in the top corner. This shows the uh, the main name of the partition. So you can see um, it is dev slash sda. Whoops, my okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, dev slash SDA 238.47 gigabytes. It's actually 256 gigabyte SSD. Um, but yeah, it is split in two partitions. Um, I like that though, how you can tell the original size of the partition if you want to look, you know, when before the partition was split or anything like that. Um, so yeah, um, how do you format? You could basically format to um, all of these files you know whatever your partition is um, compatible with so I've got um, ext2 as you can see ext3 ext4 fat16 fat32 linux swap ntfs and cleared um, so say I wanted to to go ahead and format that at x ext4 um, go ahead and apply the pending changes or operations close and now I believe it is in the, yep, it's in the XT, EXT4 uh, partition type. I can also just show you that, um, I think it was already uh, defaultly set on that, but I can go ahead and show you that I can do EXT3 and just go ahead and apply those operations. And in just a second, you know, it already says it, but... We want to make sure the operations are genuine. So we'll go ahead and wait for that. Okay. And now, yep, now our partition is XEXT3. And, you know, very nice. I could also, um, you know, I just formatted the partition completely and deleted the partition. Um, since I don't need that, I can leave it like that, unallocated, you know, just when I, when I need it. Maybe I'll do a reinstall because uh, it's a bit weird. This is actually something that I don't know about Gpart. There, I mean, there's a lot of things I don't know about Gparted. So, you Linux, oh, sorry about that. Um, if you guys are extremely good with uh, partitions and partition editors, let me know how I can stretch this partition to be its original size without formatting um, completely. Because that's been a little bit, of, a little bit of an issue with me. Even if I have Windows 10, I can't. Um, find out how to do it, you know, if there's no way, then, yeah, I'll, I'll surely just leave it as it is, because I can't be bothered to reset this, I mean, I could, but, um, I'm soon deciding to, I'm soon gonna see, I mean, we'll, we'll see, um, I might be switching over to my HP Omni 220, um, but we'll see how that goes, um, if so, I'm going to install Linux on it, it's currently got Windows 7 Professional on it, um, so if that just stays as my home PC, then maybe I'll just just slap Ubuntu on that on that um, computer and you know just use it as a as a home PC if if it's not capable of you know doing recording and stuff. Um, but I'm sure it is. It's a it's got an Intel Core i5 2400s uh, CPU clocked at 2.5 gigahertz with an um, overclock speed or well not overclock speed but turbo boost of I think 3.4 gigahertz. You guys go ahead and look that up if you want. It's also got 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got an, some kind of AMD. Um, GPU, which I can't be bothered to go ahead and turn my computer on and read the model number of that of that GPU. But yeah, guys, there is Gparted. There is the partition, the famous partition editor I've been using. Um, I will be making kind of a part two video to this, like, um, you know, with other stuff, like kind of like more of a tutorial. Once I learn more about this partition editor, um, I will be doing a little bit more as you can see, GNOME Partition Editor. <clears throat> so, yeah, as I said, I will be making um, a little bit more of a tutorial video. Um, probably in a few weeks, maybe a, maybe in a month when school gets back in. I mean, maybe even next week. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, stay tuned, guys. In my next video, I will be taking... Well, I'm not sure about my next video, but uh, I'm, I know sometime this week I'm going to be taking a look at Linux Lite. So, yeah, go ahead and stay tuned for that. And I also will be taking a look at Linux Mint 19. Um, not beta, um, originally, yeah, I, as I said at the beginning of this video and and uh, in the uh, live stream I was about to do today, um, you know, I said, 
that um, I would be taking a look at Linux Mint 19 Beta. However, that is not the case no more. No more? That's not the case anymore. I now am going to take a look at Linux Mint 19 when it is officially released. Well, anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. As I said, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you guys later.